This is the world's first self-cleaning robot vacuum and mop, the Frio sent to us by Narwhal, and it's completely changed my life, or at least the daily cleaning routine at home. Now, if you told me a month ago that a little robot vacuum and mop could completely replace the level of intricate and precise cleaning only a person could do, I wouldn't have believed you. But ever since we moved into our new place and set up the Frio a month ago, we haven't actually had to vacuum or mop our floors manually. And that might be a little hard to believe, but this thing packs more than enough technology to be able to live up to that claim. But before I dig deep into explaining all of the features and why I've enjoyed this thing so much, let me give you a sneak peek of a couple of the features that I love about it. First, it has two large water bins, one for clean water and one for dirty water, both with sensors that'll notify you when you need to either fill up or empty a tank right within the convenient app. It has a touchscreen with a bunch of different modes you can select, including vacuuming and mopping at the same time. Yes, the same time. There's also the Frio mode, which is incredible because it can decide if it needs to mop your floors again, which I'll explain how it works in just a minute. Both the brush roll and mop pads can automatically lift and push down based on what it's cleaning, and the last little teaser is the incredible app that's packed with customization. But now, I've got to talk about what makes the Narwhal Frio so special special, and it starts with the design. This thing looks incredibly clean with this premium looking finish and design that'll fit right into any home, anywhere you place it. I also love how the actual Frio robot is tucked in while not in use, so kids won't trip over it like with other robot vacuums. The display is also really nice with a very smooth UI that doesn't glitch up, and it's got a lot of settings built in for adjustment, even coming with a child protection mode so kids won't be able to come up and mash the different settings. Now on the inside of the base station, you can see the two tanks that come with convenient handles and a little plug on the clean tank for filling it up, and the dirty tank is properly sealed so it doesn't smell. But my favorite part is the little slot on the inside for Narwhal's cleaning solution that's included in the box and easy to install, and this detergent automatically gets mixed with the clean water for better mopping, leaving a fresh scent. And on the inside of the base station, you'll see the little charging pads on the sides, and you can easily remove and clean both the white plastic pan and the cleaning tray, which comes with bumps that scrub against the mop pads for self-cleaning, which is what makes it work so well. As far as the Frio itself, it also looks great and unique with a LiDAR scanner at the top, which is important because it's extremely accurate in terms of scanning your room and all the obstacles, furniture, my island, and everything else, and because it's LiDAR, it ensures your privacy at home and it works at night, which is important to me because I have mine scheduled to run at 11 p.m. It's also jam-packed with a bunch of other sensors, including infrared, ultrasonic, obstacle avoidance, and time of flight, for range detection. And if you flip open the lid, you'll see an easily removable extra large 480 milliliter dustbin with a built-in filter that you only have to empty once a week, even with daily cleaning, and it comes with a cool little brush and hair cutter for the brush roll. Now on the bottom, we get a good look at the dual mop pads, the wheels that can intelligently lift up and down, the brush roll, which is super easy to remove, and the spin brushes, which help push debris towards the brush roll. And now for the fun part, the actual cleaning. When I first tested out the Frio, it scanned my entire floor to create a map, which you can see within the app, and then I had it vacuum, which was surprisingly clean and effective since the Narwhal team discovered that increasing the suction power from 2,500 to 5,000 PAs only improved dust pickup rate by 2%, so they run it at lower suction to keep it nice and quiet, but it still picks up everything. And then after that, it mopped the floors, which was a cool process because it first saturates the mops with clean water and cleaning solution before heading out to mop. And the awesome part is that every few minutes, it stops, lifts the mop pads up, comes back to the base station to self-clean and scrub the mops, then drain the dirty water, and then saturate them once again with clean water, and heads out to the same spot to continue mopping. That right there is amazing. The whole process 
with scanning, vacuuming, and mopping took about two and a half hours, and I was surprised to see the battery life was still at over 60%, which blew my mind, and when it's done, it'll go into self-drying mode to make sure it dries the mop pads to stop mildew growth or any bad smells. And then I discovered my favorite mode of all, vacuum and mop mode, which does both at the same time. So as you can see, the Frio vacuums in the front while the mops are mopping in the back, finishing both tasks in one go, and the whole floor was cleaned in just 45 minutes. And it honestly does a great job at mopping since the mop pads push down as they spin and you can see how wet the floors get as well. And using the Frio mode, it'll actually detect if it needs to come back and mop again by analyzing the dirty water as it drains, which is incredible. And speaking of the dirty water, check out how dirty it is when emptying the dirty water tank. That's how you know it's effectively mopping your floors. And even better, the mop pads are easily removable if you want to give them a quick wash, but the self-cleaning works so well that after a month, I still haven't needed to do that. Another cool thing about the Frio is that it can actually apply pressure while vacuuming your carpets or rugs to make sure it really digs in and gets rid of dust instead of just glazing over them. And now finally, I've got to talk about the app because it's got some really cool features. When you open it, you get a full view of your floor which you can zoom into, and as you can see, the Frio automatically detected the carpet and rug areas, as you can see shaded in blue, and the gray areas are my couches, furniture, and my island. This little shaded red area is a no-go zone that I created myself, which is a cool feature, and then on the bottom, you have a start button and all of your modes, which you can customize by tapping this button and adjusting the number of times you want it to clean, the suction power for vacuuming, and the level of wetness for the mops. But my favorite is the area button at the top where you can set a customized area for spot cleaning and you can make it larger so you can clean areas like just your dining room. And then finally, there's a bunch of settings you can customize like stairless mode, drying intensity, and corner cleaning frequency. But the most useful thing to me was to set up a customized plan on a schedule. So every two days, it'll vacuum at 11 p.m. And on the opposite two days, it'll vacuum and mop, which is my preferred schedule. And honestly, after a month of using the Frio, we literally haven't had to mop our floors ourselves, not even once. The Narwhal just does it for us and it keeps the floors super clean while I can sit back and relax on the couch, and that right there is priceless. So with that said, I've gotta thank Narwhal for sending us this review unit because I don't think I can go back to manual mopping my floors ever again. And if you're interested in checking out the Frio, you can check it out using the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.